precious metals and miners really take off to the upside. I think we're coming into a pretty major super cycle in precious metals. I think we actually started it back in 2019. And this is about a five year cycle for gold. And, you know, it has been a very tough year for equities. We've had a massive bull market. I think things are getting a little long in the teeth in terms of the equity side. And when this, a stock market gets, gets to the late stages, this is when we see commodities tend to come to life. And we're, we're seeing that. We're seeing inflation. We're seeing rates starting, starting to go up. We're seeing commodities start to go up. And that is a really good sign for precious metals. And when you look at gold, it's had a very strong rally over the past month, complete opposite of what uh, the equities markets have done. And we're starting to see signs of life in terms of uh, what the, the leverage plays around gold are doing. We're starting to see miners in general come to life, including base metal miners are breaking to new highs. Copper miners have started a new uptrend from a big bull flag. Gold miners are the next one to break and pop. And, and silver is lagging a little bit, but silver miners typically lag, but they play catch up real quick. So all these things, we want to see the equities for precious metals come to life because that usually tells us yeah. the physical metals are going to follow suit. And uh, everything is setting up for, I think, a perfect storm, a nice big rally across the board in gold, silver, in miners. So it's pretty exciting times uh, the last month. Political, stock news, geopolitical things. Uh, it is news and it, it does move commodities and it can be short lived. Uh, but it, we're definitely seeing it, you know, that type of news, which is actually good for metals. Uh, I think the underlying trend of commodities coming to life uh, are actually the big driving force and, and war, Ukraine, all this, uh, these types of things are, are going to help boost it. But it, it's really not going to, I think, hold the prices up. I think it's just kind of get more attention to the precious metal sector, even the crude oil sector. Uh, and it just brings more attention to it. But again, anything news based, if you get a big move based on a, a news event, it usually gives back those gains pretty quickly. So, yeah, I, I don't take too much news uh, as a real indication okay. of trend or, or, or long term price action for sure. I have a feeling we're going to see precious metals come to life here and they might do really well for a few months, two, three, four months. Uh, if the U.S. equities market does roll over and go into a much deeper correction, I think we're going to see metals and, and miners kind of pause and, and pull back a little bit from there. Uh, and then when the stock market finally puts in some type of bottom, I think we're going to see precious metals and miners really take off to the upside. Uh, overall, long term, we're in a, uh, to me, we are in a major super cycle for gold. I think there's about a five year window here where we could see prices really rally. Yeah. Um, but uh, right right now, I think we're, we're about to see a very strong move in precious metals for two or three months. It doesn't mean it's going to go straight up from here and never look back. It might right. be a great opportunity to, to lock in some profits. And, uh, and if the stock market rolls over, there'll be an opportunity to get back in, I think, when gold flags sideways or pulls back a little bit after that. I did this chart in a presentation back in October of 2020. And gold had, had reached, it had breached 2000. It started to pull back. And I, I, I went into great detail about how there's a blend of this purple line. Here's a blend of different time cycles. And when you blend them together, it tells you the overall bias. And you're generally looking for cycle lows and cycle highs. And the scenario that has that set up back in October 2020 was actually very, very similar in terms of the environment, the cycles to what happened in the 2008, 2009 crisis. And what's what stock market finally puts in some type of bottom, I think we're going to see pressure looking at 2022 uh, as the year for gold to put in a bottom. It's probably going to trade sideways and down, which is exactly what it's done along with miners. And here we are into this window where cycles should come to life and we could see a really big move to the upside. So it's really exciting that here we are, you know, two and a half years or a year and a half later, we are right back into the scenario where finally the cycles, I think, are playing out. The stock market is starting to get very toppy. We're seeing huge money flow out of the large caps. And that is a really good sign for um, the, the physical gold market to, to move higher, along with precious metals and miners that are coming to life. They will become a leader and they actually have become a leading sector in the, in the past couple of weeks. They're one of the top sectors. And I think yeah. they're just getting started to move higher. So these, this is, you know, this is going back a year and a half and it's just playing out. So these are very big cycles and it goes to show how much upside potential there is from this point here. So for all we know, we're going to see the stock market crack. We're going to see gold and commodities continue to be a very defensive play. And when the stock market finally hits a major bottom, works itself out later this year, I think we could see a very big rally in equities. And I think there's going to be a lot of fear. We're going to see a, a very similar scenario to 2009 where 
gold stocks rally, gold rallies, because people are very nervous, uh, but we see the equities market rally as well. So, I, I mean, we're really setting up, I think, for a very similar type of move in this market. And it's going to be, this is going to be a really wild year. Last year was a, a pretty dormant year when it comes to growth stocks, everything traded sideways or lower. Uh, the index has moved up, just the big large caps. Uh, but overall, it was a fairly dormant year. I think 2022 is going to be a big year because precious metals are going to have a big run. Commodities uh, and commodity stocks are going to do well. I think the stock market's going to have some huge percentage swings up and down. So this is going to be a major year of huge, huge volatility across the board, huge opportunity, which is really exciting. I mean, that's why a lot of us follow gold. It's why a lot of us accumulate physical gold. And it's going to be really interesting when we get to these lofty prices, what the spread is on owning physical gold versus, you know, the spot price. And because right. uh, it's going to get pretty gnarly. It's going to be great for anyone who's got physical metals stored away uh, because yeah. uh, you're going to get a huge premium on top of selling it on the price that it's valued at. You're going to be able to get a ton more. So that's one of the reasons why I think you really need physical. Yeah, so over, over the next five years, I, I expect in the next year or so, we're going to see uh, $2,700 gold. Uh, if I actually just go back to the live chart here, you and I have talked about this a few times, just based on the momentum from this multi-year base, this rally to the upside, we can get a, a couple upside targets. The most conservative target is, is using Fibonacci extension from these levels, from where it started this strong run, created a bull flag, and if we were to just look higher to where that's going, we're looking at, you know, 25, 2600. If we wanted to go to the more extreme level, we could go down here and that pulls us up to that 2700. So that's where I think we could see gold pop very quickly. Over the next 12 months, we could see it scream up to 25, 2700. And uh, I think we'll see silver do very well, see miners do well. Uh, when, when you look out longer term, I think we're looking over the next four or five years, I think we could see gold work its way up to 3400 and then potentially depending how things unfold in the economy in the world uh, you know it could have a huge blow off move where it, it spikes up to like 7400 which is kind of where the momentum will most likely stall out have a sharp reversal uh, but that's that's looking way out when we look at uh, the price of gold here you can see that we've got this multi-year i mean a 10 10 12 year rally and and really we're just starting that again and you could argue we started here in 2015 2016. Sure. So we still have we still have a few more years left of this moving up, and um, some of the well, biggest moves in any trend happen right near the end, at the last yeah. percent, last ten percent of a trend. It's where price goes parabolic or it drops like a rock, and that's where we could get that blow off move in precious metals. 